and welcome back. Now in this chapter, I want to go through alerts that you can actually create on the Azure platform with the help of a Terraform configuration file. So here, just as an example, I have an Azure virtual machine in place. Now what you can do is in the Azure monitoring service, you can actually create an alert. So here, if I create an alert rule, so let's say that you want to get notified whenever the CPU percentage of an Azure VM goes beyond a particular threshold, then you can create an alert rule. That rule might go ahead and alert an IT administrator, or it could perform an action on the VM itself. So the way that you actually create an alert rule is first you define the scope. So what is it that you want to base the alert rule on? On what resource? Here I could choose, let's say my Azure VM. Now, once I select the scope, if I go on to the condition, here we have different signal types. So you could create an alert rule either on the metrics so for example, if you're looking at CPU, I could say that based on the percentage CPU, if I choose this, if I scroll down, I basically get a graph of the CPU percentage over time. Then I can scroll down and say that if the CPU percentage is greater than 70%, so we're looking at the average CPU percentage and over basically the last five minutes, then go ahead and trigger this alert. Here I can click on done. Now, apart from just metrics on the resources itself, you can also base your alerts on activity logs. So for example, if someone stops an Azure VM, someone starts an Azure VM, you can also create an alert as well. Next, we have the actions. So what is it that you want to do? Here you can create something known as an action group. So let me create an action group. Here I'll choose an existing resource group. I'll just give a simple name. We can then have notifications as part of this action group. So for example, let's say you want to send an email. Here you can specify the email address. I can scroll down and hit on OK. Here I just need to give a name. I can go on to next for actions. You can also trigger an action. Maybe you might run an automation run book to let's say restart the Azure VM. So in the action group, you're actually specifying what should be done if the alert gets generated. I can go on tags. I can go on to review and create. Yeah, I can then create the action group. So this is one part. The action group will then be attached onto the alert rule. Remember, we are still in the creation of the alert rule itself. So let's define the action group. Next, you can give the details of the alert itself. So it's an information alert. Here, we are enabling the alert upon creation. You can go on to tags. You can go on to review and create. Let me go on to the details. So I just need to give a alert rule name. Go on to review and create. And then you can go ahead and create the alert. So whenever the CPU percentage goes beyond 70% over the last five minutes, then it will go ahead and trigger an alert and the alert will send an email onto that email address. Now I want to create the same alert by the use of a Terraform configuration file. Firstly, what I'll do is I'll delete my existing resource group that I have. So in our Terraform configuration file, we'll actually deploy an Azure VM and deploy an alert rule based on that Azure VM. Now here in my Terraform configuration file, I only have the code which has the deployment of an Azure VM. So we've seen this in earlier videos. Now after this, the first thing that I'm going to define is the action group. So in the creation of the alert rule, we also had to create an action group. So what is it that needs to be done whenever an alert is generated? So first, 
I'll create the resource of the action group. I'll just place it here for the time being. I'll close this. Let me just give quickly a name for the action group. Give the name here as well. Let me give the resource group name. I'll scroll down. Just give a short name as well. So we've defined the action group. Now, if you go on to the documentation, here yeah, there's a lot that you can actually add as part of the resource. So these are all elements of the resource itself. So you could run an automation run book. You could basically run a function. What we want to do is we just want to send an email address. So here I'll choose email receiver. I'll copy this. I'll place it inside here in the resource itself. I'll just say send to admin. I'll give the email address. Let me save this. So we have now our action group in place. Now the next step is to define the alert itself. So it's a metric alert that we're defining. Yeah, if I scroll down, so we have our action group. And here is where you can actually define your alert. You can define the criteria as well. So I'll take this. I need to take the action as well. So I'll copy this. Let's place it here. I'll scroll on top. I'll just give a name. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create an alert based on the network threshold. So here I will actually monitor the bytes when it comes onto the network usage. So let me just quickly enter the name first. Then the resource group name. Now here in terms of the scope, so we have to give what is the ID of the resource that we need to monitor. Here, what we need to monitor is the Azure Virtual Machine. So I'll take this and the name of the resource is app underscore VM. So here, let me do an app underscore VM and dot the ID. So we want to monitor the network usage of the Azure Virtual Machine. I'll just give a description. So here we're looking at the network out metric. Now, what is the metric namespace? So this is pertinent onto Azure VMs. Now, if you want to look at the list of supported metrics that are monitored with the Azure monitoring service, you can actually go on to the Microsoft documentation. Here you'll get the entire list. So if I go on to Microsoft.compute virtual machines, and if I scroll down, yeah, you can see the metric. You can see what is the metric display name, what is the aggregation type, etc. So what we want to do is we want to actually look at the networking part. So in terms of networking, again, we have a lot of metrics in place. So in terms of the metric name, I'm going to choose the network out total. Here yeah, the aggregation is total itself. And I'll say if the network out is greater than 70 bytes, then go ahead and trigger this alert. Now, normally in a production-based scenario, obviously you'll define different alerts. But if you're following along and if you want to see alerts being generated, then choose a metric where you know that the alert will get generated. And for network out, it will definitely be greater than 70 bytes. Now, I don't need to add the dimension as such, so I can delete this. And then finally, what is the action group? We need to link this onto the action group. So I'll scroll on top. Let me take the email alert, scroll down. So to specify this over here, let's add the depends on clause. So this depends on our Azure monitor alert. So this basically depends on our action group. And it also actually depends, sorry.
And it also depends upon our Azure VM as well, because we need to have the Azure VM in place. So taking this resource, scroll down, dot app underscore VM. So let me save this. Let me go on to the terminal, create a new terminal. Let's create a plan first. Now, please note that once you create a metric alert, it takes some time before the metric alert becomes active. So after I do create the metric alert, let me just apply this. So I'm going to wait for around at least 15 to 20 minutes to see if I do get an alert. So let's come back after some time. Now, once the deployment is complete and I've waited for some time, so actually if you now go on to the Azure Monitor service, here if I go on to the alerts, so I can see that one alert was generated, an informational one, you can actually go on to it. So you can see that the alert was fired. Even if I go on to the email ID, I can see the email that has been triggered from the alert itself. So now this alert is based on the network out threshold of the Azure VM. If you want to modify the action groups, you can actually go on to action groups and then edit it accordingly. So in this video, I actually want to go ahead and show you how you can actually work with your alerts in the Azure monitoring service via a Terraform configuration file.